How is this different than what we've been doing? That you're solving for, you have something, you know, like, you have a different number. Yeah, what are we giving that's different from the other two examples we've already done? You have your radius. We have the radius. What don't we have? You don't have your radius. I don't have the side, and I don't have the half of them. So do we just hang up our hats and say, forget this, we're going home? No. Yeah, I know that's what most of you guys would do. Yes. Okay. But let's try this and see if we actually can figure out what we need to do. If I draw my app of them, I'm almost back to where we were before. I've got a right triangle still, right? Yeah. So if I can figure out what that angle is, I can use trigonometry to solve for A, and I can also figure out call that x down there. So the angle is 36. <coughs> Why is it 36? Because it's a 5-sided. No, that's actually 6-sided. Okay, so it's not. 60. 30. Alright, so we take 360, divided by 6 is 60. Take half of that, and then that gives an angle of 30. Okay, so let's solve for x first. <coughs> Which trig function would I use to solve for x? Mm, remember, solve for x. What is x? Is it? Oh, so you. Um, that's opposite. So it'll be opposite over. sine. Yep. So if I can solve that real quick. All right. So the sine of thirty is opposite over hypotenuse. Therefore, x is 15 times the sine of 30. Now, I'm just going to make myself sound really smart here. I'm going to guess the answer is 7.5. We'll go and see if I'm right. All right, so we're going to take 15 times the sine of 30. Bad genius. Is it just one of those that you know? No, no, it has nothing to do with that. Uh, the actual reason how I do that, if that's 30 and that's 90, what type of triangle is this? 30, 60, 90. So 30, 60, 90. The short side is half the length of the hypotenuse. Uh, <coughs> 7.5. Now, if x is 7.5, what does that make the whole side length? Um, 15. Ah, now we're getting somewhere. Because remember we said the area is one half PA. So what's my perimeter? 15 times 6. 15 times 6, which is? 90. All right, we got 2 thirds. Let's go solve for A. All right, which shirt function am I going to use to solve for A? Sine or cosine or tangent. Cosine. You can use whichever one you want. Well, I always go back to the given information. All right. So even though we do now have x, I would always go back and use the one that you were given. Okay. So if we go, if we refer back to the radius, that would be the cosine of 30 is a over 15. A is 15 times the cosine of 30, which, okay, that one I don't know, but I do know it's 7.5 times root 3. And that is, oh, that's not right. Multiply that out. So 
So let's go one half times 90 times 12.99. It gives us 584.55 squares. Okay, that's where I'm going to stop us today.